Hey Matt, Jasmine here from Academy of Animate Art, and I am here to give you feedback on this amazing turntable you have with your neutral lighting rig and your uh, shaders for Mia. It's really, I love just seeing simple turntables, it's really nice. Before I get into this, I want to take a quick look at your style guide. And okay, so I have a feel of where we are going with this. And I don't know if you find it really useful when you are working to have the style guide but for me it's so like such a big benefit um when i'm working to be for back and just have a foundation of like where i'm going and the goal um let's see so the first thing i'll say is it looks like i'm trying to look it looks like you're you you put the render in for the style guide here so i can make some comments here there's just a slight uh variation in the color and the lighting slightly but before i get into your turntable just looking at it from here the first thing one it's awesome i think it's it's looking great and really on key with a lot of your references here um the first thing i noticed was and we are all guilty of this before i even say it but the bumps and the displacement are just too high because I know I'm, I'm totally guilty of this. Like, I, like, I want to see it, right? I really want to see it. But if you look at everyday objects, it's really subtle. It's something, and I think that's a big thing with CG versus a realistic thing. And that's the kind of the key, the secret to get in that subtle, that subtlety that you see in real life and p dial it in in CG. And I often filter myself if I like put in a bump, I'll like bring it back even more than I think it should or like soften it a little so it doesn't look so um, like computer generated. So an example here is let's say um, I'm seeing it in the in the skirt. It's it's like I love that I'm seeing the texture but it's just really strong especially compared to the reference. And again if this is the style that you want to go with and you're, you're saying like oh I just want this really graphic feel then um, you can totally go for that, but just keep in mind if I'm looking at the reference and even then I think it could be softened even if it is more stylized. Um, and especially like in the t-shirt, it's almost because the bump is so high, it's almost feeling, uh, it's not feeling soft. It's feeling more like a hard rock almost um, to me. And it's definitely better here because it's softened, but still I think if you look at a t-shirt material, it's super fine. So bring down the bump. And then if I'm looking again here, I love the texture that you're getting on the scarf. I think that's working really nicely with the interaction and the uh, lighter kind of specs. The hair looks like it. You, you should watch out because it's blowing out especially around, you know, the highlights area. So this is a really great thing to start seeing when you just have this default light rig. So you can start seeing how it's going to interact with lights and you can adjust accordingly. So I'd bring down that highlight, the shading properties on the hair here. And it would be great to, I know this hair is tricky, um, I don't know, maybe to have some variation in there. To have some more interest in there like a little bit of the darker uh, streaks like you have in your reference I think that'd be really interesting to play with and just looking at that I know it's the same material probably for the eyebrows but look how bright it's getting right there so again to iterate that um, I was looking at the boots here and I like you know the sheen that they're getting I feel like looking at your reference though, and I love that, you know, you definitely put some variation in that, in the map, which is great. I'm seeing it, it's feeling a little dirty. I think it might be too sharp though, especially looking at your reference, uh, depending on how, you know, your reference is, this one's definitely like super matte um, and diffuse in specular and reflection. Well, this one's a little bit glossier um, so I guess you choose which one you want to go with, but either way, even if you go with the glossier, I think this is still too sharp. So I would um, kind of lessen that uh, quite a bit. Let me look at, 
I love how I can like kind of toggle between the turntable and the reference. So I like that you're getting the refraction in the eye. That's really nice. The dings are going to be, usually we suggest to do them separately. That would be another total different lighting. That's a lighting note. Um, the skin is, I think the skin's looking pretty good actually. And there's a little, if you look at the hands, there's maybe play with the subsurface just a little bit, or you might have to paint a specific subsurface matte for the hands because you see how it's getting a little bit um, too glowy right there in the fingers. And she wouldn't, it wouldn't come through that much, the subsurface. The other thing I will say is the ears. First thing I noticed, uh, put a smooth on those ears. They definitely kind of, uh, they look like they're low res, but also the texture on them, when I read them, I wasn't reading this kind of furriness in them. And I think it's because a couple reasons. The scale of your texture is a little bit too large. Um, you sh it, should, it, it should be re really tightened. And also the contrast, I feel like there's um, these gray these gray lines, they're not, they're going to work against you and they're going to not have that fluffiness of the white. It's going to kind of, especially when you scale it down, it's going to maybe feel a little dirty. So I think uh, make that variation a little bit more subtle. And then when you do that, then we'll work on like the bump and the, the furry feel of it. And the same thing goes with, well, not the same thing, but with the inside. I guess the question is, what material are you going for here? Are you going for this really silky material? Or are you going for this inner material? And it seems like you're going for the, this one, the non-silky. Let me check your turntable. Yeah, I think you're going for the non-silky. So if you're going for the non-silky one, then I'd say it's too, um, it's too specular. It's getting, it's hitting uh, it's too much highlights. Where here, it's like a felt where it wouldn't react that strongly to it. So I would look into adjusting that as well. And yeah, I think overall, I, this is a great test. I love to see her in motion. I love the details of the little freckles on the face and the lips are looking good. Um, yeah, good job. I can't wait to see your updates. Until then, happy lighting.